Hi there, welcome to Be a Consulting Pro. My name is Ajay Kumar. Recently, I published a couple of videos where I received a lot of comments where people were asking me that how can I use Microsoft Power BI on my MacBook? Well, guys, if you are also the one that who would like to figure out how to use Microsoft Power BI on your MacBook, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna explain three ways that you can use Microsoft Power BI on your MacBooks. So if you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm gonna let you know everything about it. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you are always stay up to date with our latest videos and content. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, right now I have logged in onto my Azure portal. So yes, for that, you are gonna need your Azure account over there. If you haven't created any Azure account, you can create it for free, but you are gonna need your own personal email address and also one credit card. Microsoft is not gonna charge you for that, but you should have your credit card. And then you have to also mention all the details over there when you are gonna create your Azure account. You're gonna get certain free credits as well. Please do remember that if you are a Microsoft certified trainer, then you are gonna get certain free Azure credits. Also, if you are an MVP, then also you get certain free credits. Otherwise, you may need to pay over here, depends on what kind of services you are gonna avail from Microsoft Azure. Over here, you have to create a virtual machine. So let's say I'm gonna come here and I'll ask virtual machine. And what is virtual machine? Virtual machine is just like your own PC, but it's in the cloud where you can configure your windows according to your own specifications. For example, I have already created this and I often use this one, but in case you want to create a new, you can simply click on this create and here you are gonna get multiple options. The very first over here is Azure Virtual Machine, then Azure Virtual Machine with preset configurations, and then more VM and related solutions. Over here, we can go with Azure Virtual Machine with preset configuration. Here, you are gonna get different dev test, production, and with certain configurations already over there. So what you have to do, I'll say, okay, I want to select for dev test only because it's for that kind of account only. And here you can select what kind of memory size you're gonna need it over here. We'll go with the middle one and then you can simply continue to create a VM over there. Now you have to fill out certain of, uh, now you have to fill out the details over here. For example, your subscription, I have MHDN subscription, so I'm gonna use it. I have also BCP demo as my resource group, then I can give it a name and I'm gonna call it VM for demo, but you can call it anything. And then you have to select certain more information over here. The image is the most important part because we are gonna need over here, the Windows image over here. That's why we are gonna use Microsoft Power BI inside Windows, otherwise it's not a, it, otherwise it's not available for any other operating system. And here you can select this Microsoft Windows 10 Pro or 11 Pro. So I'm gonna go with 11 Pro, 64 bits. There you can also select the size over here and this is the amount that you need to pay monthly if you are gonna use this. So this is the way you can create your own virtual machine where you have to pay certain amount of money and you can start using it, but you can stop as well. So the way I use it, I always go, you know, pay as you go. I use it for my demo purposes and then I switch off or stop my virtual machine. And this is gonna help me to save a lot of cost over there. Right, but we are not gonna go with this one. So what I'll do over here, I'll come back and here, what you can do, you can even select this option. Here you are gonna get more flexibility, what kind of configuration you want to do, what kind of Windows image you want to use, etc. And it's gonna take certain time to load over here. Once it's gonna do, then I'm gonna again set, uh, then over here I'm gonna again, you know, mention my virtual machine name. But first you have to select the resource group. So we'll say create new. And here I can say demo VM. And here you can mention VM for demo, then your region, and I'll say Europe. So it's not finding here somehow. I think we need to refresh this page. So please reload the page over here in case you are also facing this kind of issue and that should fix it. Like now everything is appearing here and I'm gonna call it XXX. Then you can select all other options and here again, you have to select Windows 11 Pro. That's what we are gonna do. Now, if you will come down, then you are gonna get this other specifications, okay what you really want to do and there are certain other ways to you know select and there are many options over here so let's select you select the minimum one and then you can give it a username password you have to select all these then you have to confirm your password etc but basically by this way you have to create a virtual machine even you are working in any organizations 
even you are working in any organization you can create your own virtual machine uh, however i have already my virtual machine so i'm gonna just show you that one now so i'll go to bcp this is my virtual machine and once your virtual machine is configured created over here you can see that i use 32 gb of my memory for my virtual machine also i use the ssd as my hard disk over there if you are coming from a platform perspective or you already have an idea about azure so it's the same like your hardware configuration over there but it's just in cloud and you can do it within seconds by just making some clicks once it's done you have to start your virtual machine but also please do remember that whenever you are working on your virtual machine you have to go to your network settings and here you have to register your ip address otherwise you won't be able to use it depends on what kind of rules you are setting over here now let me go over here and we are going to select start meanwhile it's getting started my virtual machines where i'm going to show you that how i use microsoft Huawei over there we are going to focus on two more options one another option is microsoft 365 windows and what is this this windows 365 is for your pc it's again in the cloud so in this case you don't need to create your own azure account or you need to have this kind of configuration for vm etc but microsoft is going to give you pre-built configurations etc and this is just like you have to open your windows in your browser and you can do all those kinds of stuff i'm going to provide you all the links in the description so please don't forget to check them out here you can click over here and you can check and compare the prices over here so for example if you're gonna get the basic one you just gonna get you know 4 gb of ram 120 gb of storage however if you are willing to pay more which is this one premium here you can get it in 66 usd per month per user and you are gonna get 16 gb of ram 120 gb of storage but if you want to go for more you can go for the enterprise as well for example you are working in an organization and here you are gonna get probably more options and you can configure your own PC over there. For example, I'm coming here and I'll say, okay, I want to configure my own PC with my own requirement. Here you can select, okay, how many vCPUs you're gonna need. vCPUs basically like your V cores, and that is your compute power. Now you can select eight, you can select 30 GB of memory, and let's say you are gonna go 512 GB of your SSD over here. Then if you will see your total amount is going to be 158 usd per user per month however you can also go for let's say only 120 gb of 128 gb of ram because you are not going to need a lot of memory over there so you can go and your price is going to significantly reduced and if you are going to go for less cpus then you can also go for 16 gb of ram and then only 60 66 usd per month you have to configure it you have to create it you have to pay the amount and that's how you can use it but again i don't use it in case you want to use it you have to pay for what you are getting and i believe this is much cheaper as compared to you are going to go and buy a new laptop and paying a lot of money over there also this is going to give you more flexibility in case you already have a macbook last but not least is power bi service so power bi service has all the functionality that you get on power bi desktop app over there and those functionalities now you can get it over here you can simply go for any data set for example this is my one data lake hub i can come here i can find my data sets i can right click and i can create a report directly from here not only that if you have your files etc already over there uh, this is not going to load the model so don't worry about it but still you can create your report over here you can also edit your data model over here you can create your data mart data flows etc but that totally depends what kind of power license you have basically 99 percent of the functionalities that you have in your microsoft power desktop app all are there additionally microsoft power service functionalities are over there you can also open directly your pbx file shared by someone else with you on your sharepoint or onedrive that i have already created a video on that i'll provide you a link in the description section so please don't forget to check that out as well now in case you want to browse your file you can browse as well you can directly share with me your favorites etc everything is over here if you want to create a fresh report that also you can create you can either browse your own data over here or you can use existing sample data in case you go to any workspace for example i'm into demo workspace here also you would get an option to upload your own files over here for example here now you can select your onedrive sharepoint and you can start creating your own reports from there if you need more information about that how you can create more reports or explore your data etc on your browser please do let us know in the comment section and we are going to help you out now what you have to do once you have your own virtual machine so in this case you have to download an app which is known as remote desktop app so this is the one microsoft remote desktop so you should install it this is going to help you to connect with this now you should also configure it with, within the connection either you can directly connect you are going to download one file and you can you know start using this one 
So this is the one way that how you can connect directly to that remote app. Otherwise, what you can do, you have to also configure your VM and how to configure. So here you can type configure Microsoft remote desktop. So there you are going to get all the different information that how you can configure your remote desktop app for your MacBook. There is going to be some other articles as well. So I'm going to provide a link in the description section. Please don't forget to check it out or let me know if you don't know how to configure it. But this is a video where I'm explaining you the different ways how you can use your Microsoft Power BI on your own MacBook. So over here, it's already there BCP. So I just need to start it here. I need to enter my password, etc. where I would be able to login into my Windows and then I can start using Microsoft Power BI. So it's going to take some time because it's been already a couple of days. Uh, so let's see how it goes. And here it's saying it cannot connect. Basically, my IP is not being registered. So let me check it again quickly. And here I have to create a new port rule, which is working fine. So let me check my IP address over there. What is my IP? So my IP has been changed. So I have to create a new one over here. So I have to create this one. So over here, first you have to enter your username and password. And here's my password. It should be able to log in now. So let's see. And here's my windows. Now you can see that I have everything over here. I can even check my configurations. And this is my Power BI desktop app, which I generally use it for my all day to day purposes, for my all the demos, etc. So what do you think guys about it? Are you going to use it? Or if you feel that there is some constraint and then you don't want to use it, please do let me know in the comment section. Also, in case you have any question and concern, please do let us know. If you are looking for any Power BI training or Microsoft training programs, please do contact us. Not only that, in case we can help you for any consulting services, you can still reach out to us. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and also do share with your friends and colleagues. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring the world of data and I'm going to see you in the next video.